First of its kind for 2021. Yes, this is the January Saltwater Inshore Box. And it's got a bit of weight to it too. Right, pull up a seat, grab a beer, grab a coffee. We've got a lot to cover in this box. Um, where do I start? Plastics, 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 jig, vibe, popper, plastics, stickers. Right, I always like to start with surface, so let's start off with surface. Here we have one from an Australian company. You might know them, known as Halco. This is the Halco Rooster Popper 135, so 135 mil, not centimeters, because that would be overkill and uh, pretty big unless you're chasing very, very big fish. It's over a meter if you can't do your maths. But this one here is the Rooster Popper in the 135. So this is a big popper, essentially chasing mackerel. You can chase big queen fish with these, GTs, any other sorts of the Trevally family as well can also go for these. Straight away in my mind, I love GT fishing, so I'm thinking GTs, Big Macs as well. Don't forget about the Big Mac. But yeah, GT fishing, so this is a traditional cut face popper, super strong hooks straight out of the box, super strong split rings straight out of the box. Um, as Halco is well known for making big, strong saltwater lures, and this is no different. So what you're gonna do, pop a long, long cast out there. It's gonna make a huge splash when it hits the water. Once that, uh, once that pop is ready to go, you'll see the tail end drop down, nose holding up, you're ready to start your action. Big sweep, pop, wind your slack line in, pop, wind your slack line in, is great for fishing over like shallow reef, or if you've got any rock ledges near where you fish, gonna be dynamite for fishing off those edges. Big tuna coming in are gonna hit these too, not just GTs and the other, other fish I mentioned, but obviously GTs, mackerel, that's the main sort of species you're gonna be chasing with this. Then we're gonna move over to some of the other hard bodies before we step into the soft plastics range here. So this is another one from Halco. This is the Halco Max 110. These are sick lures. I, um, I'm gonna go for a bit of a backstory here, so I hope the popcorn's ready, but I had the privilege of fishing in Vanuatu once, and every lure we were throwing and trolling was getting nothing except for this one, the Max. So this is a big vibe style lure. You can work them vertically like a jig, or you can also high speed troll them as well. So you're just gonna vibrate and just make a hell of a lot of noise behind your boat or below it, depending how you fish. Once again, being a Halco, super strong hooks and split rings straight out of the box are ready to fish. But this is once again, is gonna be great for your Wahoo, great for your mackerel, your schoolies or your spotties or even your Spanish uh, GTs bottom drop it for any of your reef fish, you know, your big scarlets, your pearlies. You can catch a whole sort of variety on these. Only thing with fishing vertically, with the super strong trebles underneath it, you wanna be careful not to snag this up. Trebles just love to latch on to the bottom, which can make it hard to get it back. But that's the Halco Max 110. Then we're gonna jump over to one of my favorite brand of jigs to fish with. This is one by Storm, Storm Gamoku. They kind of kicked off the micro jig revolution, not just in Australia, but worldwide. This is one of their bigger profile ones, which is more like a knife jig, just without the crazy, you know, two, three, four, 500 gram weights. This is only an 80 gram jig. This is the Gamoku Kensaki jig. And one of my favorite colors as well. It's like an orange with a white glow stripe through it. Comes with double assist hooks on the nose. So you're just gonna attach your line to the toe point up the top. You can fish with these with the hooks down below. I like to fish it with the eyes and the hooks up the top. It means you're gonna be slightly less prone to snagging up. Plus often you find that's where actually fish come to hit it is the head first up top of the lure. So this one you can work a lot faster. It essentially is like a knife jig. Drop it down and just whip, 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 whip. As you're winding that in, it might be a bit hard to see what I'm doing here, but whip, 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 like that. 
pause, let it sink back down. Cover a lot of ground. One, two, three, four, five. Back down again. And this thing's just gonna get a lot of attention, darting around, flashing around. Then that oh so seductive sink again. And then back up. So work it quick. It's a good workout. You'll get puffed working these, and these are only light. These are a great introduction to jigging as well before you go stepping up to the big bad boys that are like two, three, four hundred grams for your big kingies. But that's what I'm going to be looking for. Kingfish, uh, you've got Golden Trevally, GTs, also big scarlets, uh, reef jacks. You can target a lot of species with these. I've even caught mackerel, wahoo. You can get a lot of different species. Now we're going to jump over to some of the soft plastics in the range, including the box this time. We've got four different sets to choose from. So let's start off with the big one. So this is the Mad Eyes here by Halco. So plenty of Halco in this box this month. So these are a huge seven inch prawn style plastic. So they do have all the little legs coming off the sides that are going to give it heaps of micro vibration but as well as a big, big paddle tail on the back. So you're getting those big wide kicks, the big body roll. It's kind of a mixture of both worlds, not just a paddle tail fish profile, it's a half cast, which is super popular on a lot of species. I'm gonna throw these for Mulloway. A lot of big reef species will hit these as well. Uh, if a mackerel comes along, he will hit it too, but will probably tear it to shreds with his teeth. Uh, but yeah, once again, probably a heavy jig head for this. Cast out, let it sink, and I'm gonna either hop it back if it's not too snaggy, or just do a slow roll, trying to hold it just off the bottom so it's just swimming atop or above the top of the reef or wreck that you're fishing in. Now you can also fish with these vertically, but with that big paddle tail, once again, I wanna keep that tail doing its thing. So either a slow roll or a lot of uh, up and down action, but keeping it moving. If you're gonna fish more vertically, just jigging with plastics, which is a lot of fun to do as well, uh, I'm gonna look for one of these two here. So first up, you've got the Damiki Armour Shad here. This is a big five inch one. So these are not a paddle tail plastic. They're essentially just a little fork tail plastic or a flick plastic is what some people call them. And then you've also got the Zero Z2 by Strike King. So a smaller profile as well. So you've got two different sizes in this. I've got a lovely pearl and a lovely pink. I do have a soft spot for white lures, uh, especially white plastics, but both are gonna be dynamite. So the, the big Domeki is gonna give you a bigger profile to fish with, or if you're fishing where uh, you need to step it back a little bit or the big lure's not getting attention, which hey, happens all the time. Sometimes it's the small little presentation that gets all the attention. That's when you're gonna step over to the Strike King plastics. Now you can also fish these on the cast. You don't have to jig with them, but just cast out, let it sink down, hop it back, hop it back, and keep that slack line tight just so you don't miss any of the bites. And then last but not least, is one here from our friends at Samaki, a Samaki boom bait in the five inch curlicious. This is a curl tail version now. So you've got three different options. You've got your flick baits, you've got your paddle tail, and now a curl tail. So this one you can rig easily weedlessly, so you can with the others. Uh, you can fish these heavy jig head, like you can with the others. But the difference with this is the big curl tail is always gonna be moving. Even on the pause, that curl tail just seems to pick up a lot of movement in the water. So there's always a lot of movement, even with very minimal effort. Uh, but that's the Samaki Boom Baits Curlicious. Work it either on the cast or on the jig just like the others, but this is giving you plenty of different ways to fish them, plenty of different options for plastics, and plenty to chew through as you snag them up and probably lose them. But that's it for the Saltwater Inshore Box this month. If you want to check it out or any of the others in the range, just head to www.tackleclub.com.au. Pick a box that's right for you and welcome to the club.